I do have one question. Can we remove the coins from the purse? Uh, take coins from purse. Empty purse. The reason I say that is because for the deep sleep potion or whatever it is, we need a pouch. Actually, no, a purse is not a pouch. Never mind. Right, what's below us? Desolation, holy crap. The soft loamy soil of the forest here gives way to the sands of the great desert stretching off to the west. These trees look... Uh, oh god. Can I run into the desert? No. I'm screwed. Let me just load that. I can see this is RNG as to whether or not they're going to show up, so... Squirrels. Oh, go away. You see two squirrels chattering to each other. I wish I could chat to them as well. Let's not go that way just yet. What do I need for understanding language of creatures? I need a small feather from a bird. I need a reptile skin. And that's about it. I think getting that, oh my God. I think getting that could be very useful. Also, I think that might be a cactus. Okay, the squirrels are gone. They've been replaced by birds. Look at cactus. No, I thought that was a cactus directly in front of me, but it is not. The trees here cast a refreshing shade. Really? The bottom one looks pretty effed up, just saying. Ooh. Okay, I think I've realized I've just screwed up my map. I need to go right to check. Soft Lamy Soil, yep, that's the same thing. If I go right here, oh, an eagle. I would dearly love it if you dropped a feather for me. No. No, we're here. Okay, I've screwed up my map. No, wait, that does make sense. So if I'm in the dead trees area, I've written it down as dead trees above me. If I go right here, I should be at the three bears house. Got us. I got the first part wrong where I thought we were outside the mountain, but we were not. What would we call this place? Just a rocky sort of area? And I'll just say right now, I don't see anything on this screen other than the eagle that passed by. Same thing, more squirrels. That rock looks sus. Same thing here. So if I go right, this leads me up to the path where we can actually start our winding journey back up to Madanin's place. Yeah, I definitely screwed the map up. If you think the map looked bad earlier, it's, uh, it looks pretty awful now. Right, so apart from going into the desert, I'm not sure what else to do right now. That eagle though. Is there any chance it can drop a feather? I don't know. All right, let's go into the desert. Reptiles. Uh the most hideous looking being has made its appearance. It's Medusa. I did not get time to pause that before we died. Bloody hell. Right, I've not found anything, so let me just go over here. Actually, can I find any acorns now? I need dried acorns. The acorns surround the old oak tree and crunch under your step. They're all nearly fallen, okay. There's reptiles here. I see, we just need to not be facing her. Can I look at her? Yeah. 
That was a dumb move. Your eyes fall upon a face so hideous, so gruesome, that the horror of it is beyond description. People who look upon the face of Medusa, with her hair of writhing live snakes, turn instantly to stone. Suddenly, your body feels cold and stiffens hard as a rock. You make a nice statue, Gwydion. Hmm. I don't believe we have any defense against that looking at the potion list. We have understanding language of creatures flying like an eagle or a fly, random teleportation, deep sleep, transform another into a cat, brew a storm, maybe become invisible. But if I want that, I'll need to find a cactus and some lard and some cactus juice. All right. Can I do anything in the desert here? Oh, I saw a snack. I saw that snack. Let's look around. Oh, you notice an unusual little cactus beside that large rock. How do we get there though? I see it. It's here. Oh no! Medusa's touch is like ice. A cold chill shivers down your spine, turning to a stiffness that soon hardens your body like a rock. Thank God for the body. You are now nothing but a statue. Maybe we need to turn invisible to avoid her. But then we need to avoid looking at her. Okay, so we have a cactus, but I can't grab it. It is immediately to the left of the oak tree. Anything below us? You find yourself at the edge of a great desert, stretching as far as the eye can see to the west. Yeah. I don't think we can explore this area. We have a couple of seconds per screen and that's it. The parched sands of the desert seem to reach forever westward. That was quick, Jesus. So we need the cactus and I think we also need the cactus juice. Nothing there either. We did see reptiles and snakes here. I don't suppose I can grab it. I really want to see what those animals are. Oh, come on. I wasn't... I suppose I was looking at it, wasn't I? Uh, I really want to see what those reptiles are to see if there's anything I can do with them. But uh, from this point, I think what I want to actually do is go back to the house, pick up the items, see if I can do anything with them downstairs in the lab, and maybe I have to come back down here. Maybe I need to start then using my noggin and seeing what I can do. They're just lizards scurrying across the desert floor. No, I saw a snake at some point. There we go. It's gone. We don't have any badges or mushrooms. So we're just going straight. Oh, there it is. There it is again. Jesus Christ. Any experienced traveler knows better than to mess with snakes. Okay, I need an answer to reduce it before I can progress very clearly. And I need to get back up to the house. There is one more thing I can do actually, and that is I can go to town, which should be two to the right, unless I've really screwed up my map. I could possibly purchase some stuff here. I wonder if I can also purchase some alcohol. All right, so taking a look at this. We need a leather pouch for the deep sleep thing. We need salt for random teleportation, which I'm not convinced is useful, but whatever. We need fish oil for something. Transform another into a cat. We need a small ball of cat hair as well. I wonder if we can get that from the one inside Manana's place somehow. 
and lard. We need lard to become invisible. But if I want to become invisible, I also need the cactus and the cactus juice. How do I get that? Medusa is there and she's very pissed off. Uh, let's see if we can purchase this stuff, shall we? Buy a pouch. We need to move closer to the counter. Smiling, the storekeeper says, you will be very happy with this pouch. That will be one gold coin. What else can I get for you? Asks the amiable, I don't know how to pronounce that word chat. Uh, buy lard. A fine choice indeed, young man, the storekeeper says, smiling. That will be one gold coin. What else can I get? I'm not reading that again. Uh, let's take, uh, what else do you have? You had fish oil? This is a business, not a charity. You have to buy the things you want. Uh, buy fish oil? Wrong word. Uh, that's exactly the same. What else did you sell? The socks. A wise purchase, sir, the boarding storekeeper says. You will find no better salt in the land. That will be one gold coin. Uh, I find that very hard to substantiate, but okay. We have a whole bunch of other stuff which is clearly marked as illegal. Looking inside the salt bag, you see the coarse grains of salt. Yep, that's what we need. This is a plain leather pouch, useful for storing liquid or dry ingredients. Right now, it is empty. There's nothing very interesting about this jar of whitish thick lard. A strong fishy smell emanates from the glass jar. Right, so I can go back upstairs now and craft a few things. But is the wizard going to be waiting for me up there and have I taken too long? Where's the save button? Get out of here. Trying to multitask, and it's going to result in me falling off this mountain. Oh my god. Okay, I'm deeply worried about this next part. It was easy enough to get out, but getting back up is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just pushing diagonal. Wow, okay. Maybe there is a very wide path behind that rock. And I just can't see it. Right, so we're back. How long do we have though? I do not know. Holy shit, we have so much stuff. And I'm also about to grab the magic wand. Grab that. We need to move the book. Pull the lever. Can't spell. What is this cat doing down here? I was wondering if that would happen. I'm kind of impressed by that. Oh, oh, that darn cat really did it to you this time. Tripping over the cat, you fall to your death. And that chat is why I'm a dog person. All right, so let me just redo that very quickly. Oh, I can't any of that out. I do need to figure out how to grab a furball from him though. You don't have the cast. Can I take the cast? The despicable cat slips away from your grasp with a fierce scratch to your arm. Got 
goddess. Is that RNG? Nimbly, you grab the nasty cat by the scruff of its neck, avoiding its needle-sharp claws. Now that you have it, what are you going to do with it? I can't kill the cat, chat. Uh, take fur. I'm not going to voice that. <laughs> I will voice that, though. You manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches and leaps from your arms. With grim satisfaction, you survey your wounds. Stupid catch, you scoff. Whether you know it or not, you just help me. The detestable cat leaps from your arms, snarling and screeching. That cat's going to murder us later. I know it. Okay. We have the first, so I can possibly craft something else. I'm not looking at the instructions right now. Just concentrating on not dying. Is the cat here? Yes. Cat is not there now. He's been gone for about 20 minutes. Well, he left at the six minute mark, so I really don't know if it's 20 minutes, half an hour. I've got no idea. All I know is we're here and I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Right, so what can I do here? I cannot understand the language of creatures. I can definitely create the flying like an eagle or fly potion. Let me take a look at that. So what I need to do is put a pinch of saffron in the essence. I need to recite a verse and then wave the wand. I don't need to use the fly wings or the eagle feather just yet. Let's try that out. Put a pinch of saffron in essence. Uh, excuse me? Put a pinch of saffron in essence. Fucking hell. How strict is this, chat? Put saffron in rose petal essence. Mix saffron and rose petal essence. Oh my god. Um, okay, I'm failing to do this. Put a pinch of saffron in essence. Take pinch of saffron. Put saffron in essence. I know I need it. That's why I'm doing it. It's just called rose essence. Put saffron in rose essence. Put a pinch of saffron in rose essence. Take pinch of saffron. What at this table? What do we have? Measuring cups, speakers, flasks, and stirrers. Open essence. Look at essence. That's definitely the right stuff. Uh, open saffron. Look at saffron. Do I have the saffron? Yes. What's saffron in essence? That should work. All right, what am I missing? I need to do something very clearly. Add saffron to essence. Add a pinch of saffron to essence. Mix potion. Mix spell. Oh my god. Here's me looking at the walkthrough, or not the walkthrough, the manual. Thinking, yeah, okay, all I need to do is just copy these instructions step by step because it's a copy protection, basically. And it's not fucking working. <laughs> Put a pinch of saffron in essence. How do we do that? Also, I'm fully expecting Mananin to show up at any moment, just so you're aware. Read book. Cast spell. Wave wand. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, the wand. No, we saw that. It was made of ivory. Um, how do I prepare this? Uh, 
So winged spirits set me free. Okay, um, I'm confused. It says, oh, winged spirits set me free. That's what I need to say to, um, what do you call this? It's what I need to say to prepare the potion once we're done, but it's not recognizing the word winged. All right, times are wasting and I'm dying. I don't know how to mix these two ingredients together. Mix saffron with essence. Put uh, saffron in beaker. I'm so confused. Put fur in bowl. You don't need to put the fur in the bowl. That's because we need to put a small feather in there first. I'm looking at a different spell now. Put saffron into essence. I know it says I might need it. It literally says to do this to cast a spell. Ugh. I'm so confused. This is either the parser being stupidly strict or I'm flat out missing something and I don't know what. Give me a minute. I'm almost ready to break and look at the walkthrough. This is ridiculous. What are the commands that I need to use to actually do this stuff? Uh, is there anything else in the manual here? Just says to use, pick up anything that's not nailed down. There was also an interesting note about the map, which I'll show you later. Um, yeah, okay, I'll bring this up. The following pages contain the only legible excerpts from the Sorcery of Old, Manannan's Book of Magic. All other spells in the volume are so faded that they are indecipherable to mortal eyes. To perform any of these spells, open the Sorcery of Old to the appropriate page and follow the directions precisely. Any deviation from the correct procedure, including the exact recitation of the empowering verse, can cause fatal, if sometimes humorous, results. Note. Parenthesis indicates descriptive text, not instructions you need to type into the computer. We do not need to type um, parenthesis in. So we don't type parenthesis for recite this verse. Am I typing that exactly correctly? Put a pinch of saffron in essence. I'm certain I am, but let me try again. Put a pinch of saffron in essence. I don't know. I don't fucking know. What else can I do? Grind a spoon of salt in a mortar. I mean, it says with a pestle, but that's in parenthesis. What on earth is the game asking me to do here? I'm going to look at a walkthrough because I, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I must be entering the command incorrectly, but the game is not being clear right now. Motherfucker. It's being very literal. And by very literal, I mean, fuck me, I don't even know where to start. I need to look at this book. If you're in a language you know. Yeah, I need to look at page two. Hell, I, I. Jesus fuck. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of The Sorcery of Old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. Copy protection ho. Uh, I can't do this one. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. 
you tremble in anticipation. Obviously, you were raised by a naughty wizard. A strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. Oh. You're all ears now, Gwydion. Yeah, that's the wrong spell. Oh, that sucks. You have to look at the book. Okay, look at page four. This is flying like an eagle or a fly. Right. Put a pinch of saffron in essence. Thank you, game. You carefully sprinkle the precious saffron into the vial of rose petal essence. And now we have to recite a verse. O winged spirits, set me free of earthly bindings just like thee. I can barely read this. Yeah. There's a comma there. Just like thee. There's also a full stop. In this essence, behold the mites to grant the precious gift of flies. Hopefully that's correct. If it's not, we could be here a while. Wave the magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the vial of rose petal essence. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. That was a fucking ordeal chat. Oh my god. All right, so it's very much all or nothing. We can't do a partial spell. We have to do the whole thing in one sitting. What else can I do? I do not have a smooth rounded stone of unusual color, so we cannot do teleportation at random. We do not have the acorn, so we can't do deep sleep. We can transform another into a cat. We can craft a cookie. Uh, look at page XXV. Get over there. Right, round two. We are creating a cookie that can transform another into a cat. I wonder if we can use that on Mananan. You pour the mandrake root powder into the bowl. You put the ball of cat hair in the mixing bowl. You pour the fish oil into the bowl and keep the empty jar. Ooh, okay, so that jar is going to be useful for the next potion, which is brewing a storm. Stir the mixture with a spoon. You mix the ingredients together. The mixture turns into an oily, disagreeable dough with cat hair sticking out of it. Delicious. Scrunching your nose in distaste, you grab the oily dough from the clay bowl and put it on the oaken table. Pushing the palm of your hand on the oily dough, you flatten it until it is in the shape of a cookie. After a bit, the cookie hardens. Ah, fuck. No idea what happened there. Might have hit enter twice. Where a cat? That was amusing, Gwydion. Uh, and he did it with no access to the internet. I'm impressed. All right, so let's try that again. God, that's frustrating. I've got to do the whole thing from the start again. I said into instead of in. Hopefully I don't get penalized for that. Spoons of fish oil in bowl. 
Stir the mixture with a spoon. Put the dough on the table. Pats the dough into a cookie. All right, mandrake roots and hair of cats. Mix oil of fish and give a pat. A feline from, ah, from, not form. The one who eats this appetizing magic treats. Wave the magic wand. We have the cookie. Well, I should have read that, but I'm over it right now. Can I do anything else? I cannot brew a storm because I do not have ocean water and mud. And I can't become invisible because I do not have cactus juice, toad spittle, or anything like that. I think I've done everything that I can do for now, unless I want to go back down there with all of my stuff. And I'm not sure that I want to right now. What I do want to do right now is put that wand back and hide all my shit. Ah. Uh, I told you that cat was going to kill me. Go the fuck away. Thank you. Right, pull lever, move book. Open cabinets. Ah, can't spell. We've put the one back. So the cookie, where's the cookie? The cat cookie is an illegal item. The only resemblance to a real cookie is its flat, round shape. It is hard and has cat hair sticking out of it. Definitely non-appetizing. How are we going to get Mananan or anyone else to eat that? Magic rose essence. The little vial of magic essence has a delicate, sweet aroma. It was rose essence before, but now it is something else. Right, let me just go back up here. And we are now basically safe. I can hide my stuff. What do I do with this cookie, however? Can I put it in Mananan's room? Put cookie on dresser. Eats cookie. I've got to do it at least once. You purr contentedly, enjoying your new life as a cat. I mean, given the option, if you've got a loving family, then yeah. Maybe. What else could I do with that cookie? I've got to give it to Mananan, but it's an illegal item. Well, I think I've got to give it to him. At least, I don't know. That's all I can think of at the moment. Um, puts cookie on table. Place cookie. Hmm. Maybe I can combine the cookie with the bread or something. Puts cookie in bread. Poor cookie gives me that, so I'm thinking that's not the right answer. Uh, hide stuff. The wizard's been gone for 20 minutes and I have played a little bit longer than that in the lab, so I really don't know when he's going to come back. If I sleep in the bed, will he come back? You lie down on your hard bed, stretch, then curl up, trying hard to get comfortable. It's not used to the word hard. Your thin blankets and small pillow do not help much. Time is not speeding up. Shh, you're trying to sleep. Uh, we're in. Uh, do something, please. I said get up and he's not getting up. 
I've got no control. Our keys are doing nothing and um, I've got no text parser. What the hell? That was very odd. So you're telling me I can go to sleep? That was very odd. I don't know why he didn't get up. It's like he got caught stuck in mid animation and he refused to get up. You gracefully rise from your hard old bed, stretching your aching muscles. Okay, uh, let me try using this magic potion. Dip fly wings into essence. We are a fly. Ooh, I wonder if that's how we can avoid Medusa. Also, it's very difficult to control. Uh, so if I say uh, fly be gone. Buzz. 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 If I say fly be gone. Myself return. The impulse to buzz around has vanished. You feel yourself growing bigger, so you head for what you hope is a safe place to land. So, how many times can I use this? I mean, this could be very useful. But I don't know how many times we can do this and or whether we're better off using the eagle. Three times. Shit, okay. That's mildly concerning. So first things first, let me try going back down the mountain. I'll try flying down there and flying into the desert. I want to see if I can grab that cactus juice. And the cactus. I can only do this three times though. Uh, am I in the correct spot? Looking at the map, I'm not. There's the cactus. Medusa has fucked off. Okay. Fly be gone, myself return. Did I get the stuff from under the bed? I did. I've got the empty cup. I can possibly grab mud. Um. Okay, let's see if we can grab the cactus juice and the cactus. Uh, Gwydion? Hurry the hell up. I was trying to look at the bones on the ground there, but whatever. Uh, look at cactus. You notice an unusual little cactus beside that large rock? Can I take the cactus? Okay, look at cactus. The greenish gray cactus is small, plump, and fleshy. Can I squeeze the cactus? Get cactus juice. Get juice. We need cactus juice. How do we get cactus juice? And that's nothing. Um, can I go further east here? And by east, I mean west. I can. That looks like another cactus. You look around and see no familiar landmarks. A tight knot of fear begins to form in your stomach as you realize you don't know how to get out of this desert. Oh shit. Uh, teleportation at random maybe? Yeah, we're not getting out of here. So it does look like the map is, in general, apart from the ocean squares and the pier, 
It is five screens wide by four screens tall. I'm really hoping I can find a reptile skin or a, um, a snake around here. Yeah, we're not surviving this, are we? Let's just keep wandering around until we die. So I can get the cactus, but I need to use one of my three, I'll call it shots of essence to do it. Is that a good trade-off? Oh, is that a vulture? That's totally a vulture, isn't it? Yeah, death approaches. The vulture's gone. We need to die in the desert at least once. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. You're getting very hot and tired. You'd better find your way out of this desert soon. We're not finding a way out of here. That is not happening. Bring up a storm, maybe? Uh, I mean, it would be nice to have a storm in the middle of the desert, but I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. We can teleport at random to get ourselves out of here. But I don't think it's worth it. What I do believe is worth it though, um, I need to redo all that again, is we can get the, um, we can get the cactus. But like I said, it involves us using one of our three charges of the potion. That bloody cat. That cat knows what it's doing. And just really quickly, I want to bring up the manual again because it also mentions on this page involving the map, it says, in addition to constructing your own map, you may also find a certain magic map hidden in the wizard's house. It's up to you to unlock its special powers. I would love to find that thing if I could, but I'm not sure where to find it. I mean, the only places I can think where it will be hidden are either here, in this room right here right now, in the study downstairs or the lab downstairs, or in his private chamber. It's got to be around here somewhere though. It's not in the oaken cabinet because that's the wand. I don't believe it's in his desk. Oh, actually. One moment. Where are we at? Four minutes. Did he take the map with him? Okay, it's not in the drawer there. I wonder if it's downstairs. But if he's taken it with him, then I don't know how we're going to get to it. Hmm. I just feel really, really bad about getting the cactus right now because... <sighs> the cactus would... If we get the cactus and we get the cactus juice, that is going to enable us to cast the invisibility spell and it works for one application. And my thought was that we could use that to bypass producer. But we've seen that we can bypass producer by turning into a fly. So I don't think that is essential at this point in time. But if it's not essential at this time, why am I bothering going after the cactus now? Hmm. I clearly need to give this more thought.
I've got the cactus, but I don't know how to get juice out of it. Medusa is still around here, but just looking at these other screens, apart from the reptiles and apart from the snacks, I don't see what else is here. The little lizards are much too quick for you. We're specifically looking for a lizard skin, I think. Yeah, one dried reptile skin. How do we get that? Okay, well, I've got the cactus, but I really don't think I've accomplished much. What else can I do? Can I eat the stuff? Can I eat the bread? Ah. Uh. All right, while we're here, is that actually an entrance? I thought that might've been an entrance to a cave or something. While we're here, let me confirm this. Reach and hold, the ladder's gone. I'm certain all of the stuff will be here. God fucking damn it. All right, we're not doing that. At least not yet. Okay, we are doing it. Let's try that again, shall we? Reach in hole. This feels like a regression. We were able to get into the treehouse so easily in King's Quest 2, and this one is... <sighs> it's like I'm going too high. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Enough with the noise, please. Oh my god. I'm on tilt. I'm gonna make a save here. I've had enough. I'll get rid of the mouse cursor in just a sec. Right. Is my stuff here? Let's check. I had no problems last time, Jesus Christ. And now that I'm up here, I realize I need to do this. Uh, look in shack. There we go. So now that I've climbed it successfully, I need to do this again. Okay, sleeping. Let's save over that again. So I'd love to see if I get points for this. Open bin. Look in bin. Yep. This must be where the bandits store their loot. You see all of your stolen possessions inside the bin. I don't see anything new there. We have an empty pouch. But we've also got another pouch on the table. A leather coin purse. Another purse, okay. Uh, counts coins. Yeah, four gold coins. So that's exactly the same as what was, whatever. All right, fine. Actually, no, the pouch. Once again, I've confused the pouch with the purse. Jesus Christ, losing my mind. Right, I need to find something to do. I'm not sure what to do next, other than go back to the wizard's house and pretend like nothing happened. I suppose the other thing I can do is go back to town and see if I can purchase some alcohol. Am I old enough to drink? Hell. Two surly looking characters are drinking ale at the table. Looking closer, you see that they are the bandits from the forest. One of the surly looking characters yells to the barmaid, Wench, come over here with more ale. They're treating her like shit. The two ruffians at the table see you looking at them and glare back at you menacingly. It's the bandits from the forest. Do I have to get beaten up by them for this event to occur? I'm guessing so. Keep your shirts on, you ornery buzzards, the barmaid yells. 
I'll be there quick enough. Without taking her eyes off the two men, she says, I'll be happy to take your order, but be quick about it because those two are keeping me hopping. Uh, buy a drink. The barmaid hands you a glass and the potent liquid burns as it slides down your parched throat. It hits bottom and you suddenly feel a bit woozy. Uh, I'm not in full control here. Can I talk to the barmaid again? Uh, can I purchase another drink? We are very, very drunk. I have virtually no control here. I'm trying to walk up towards her. And uh, Gwydion is going wherever he pleases. We're close. That one tasted even better than the last. Just one more sounds like a good idea. Yeah, each drink costs one gold coin. We are very drunk. Can I talk to the bandits? One of the ugly rogues scowls at you as he says, Beat it, kid. I'm trying to, but I cannot. I cannot walk straight to save myself right now. This is actually programmed very well. Okay, so... Can I grab something? No, there's hardly no window there. I was thinking maybe I could grab that behind the bar. It's curious though that she is moving. Maybe there is a window to do something there. Because I think guessing an empty bottle would be very useful. I still have no control over Gwydion, by the way. All right, so let's not drink. Let's be a good boy. I wish I could understand the language of creatures, but I need a small feather from a bird. Can I get that somehow? And I need a tuft of fur, which I've got. And I need a dried reptile skin, which I do not have. Yeah, I think this is only occurring now because we've run into the ruffians. No, hang on, that's not the case. I loaded before we got hit by them. I've still got my stuff. Uh, look behind bar. Look at bottles. Just an empty jar. Um, what is behind the bar? That's the tapestry and the rusty swords. Bottles of rum and wine atop shelves. Bottles of rum and wine sit atop shelves behind the bar. Need to buy it first. Uh, buy wine? No, I don't want to do that. Oh my god. <sighs> Gwydion, figure it out, please. Get wine bottle. Okay, we're not getting behind her. That's not happening. I don't think this is going anywhere. We can purchase wine or rum. We don't get any points for it. We lose a gold coin and um, we get very drunk for our efforts. So I don't think that's worth it. What about these casks of ale? Bottles of rum and wine, yep, we saw that. Kegs of ale line the wall. Yes, ale, buy ale. We're too far away. Open cask, open barrel, use cup with barrel. Don't talk to me like that game. Uh, ocean water, I can definitely grab ocean water though. That is something I can do. Yes, ocean water. You fill your cup with ocean water. which is very, very illegal. The metal cup has ocean water in it. Uh, 
What about the mud here? The thoughts of carrying around a handful of mud doesn't appeal to you. What do we need to do with the mud? Just looking at the recipes. Brewing a storm says that we need one spoonful of mud. Can I put the mud in the bottle or the jar? Put some mud in bottle. We have an empty pouch, but we use that for a potion and we got the empty jar, which we use for the potion. As in, that's where we store the final results. Put mud in bowl, maybe? We don't need to put the mud in the bowl. Um, hmm. Not sure. So at this point, I'm not sure what needs to be done. 